It came out of nowhere. The bright streak in the sky up long enough for people to capture it on camera as it lurched towards Earth and exploded. A deafening boom followed as fragments rained down over Russia's Urals region. The sonic boom shattered glass. At least 1,000 people in the bullseye of the falling meteor were injured. It's a bombing, says this man. There were reports that a large chunk of it was found in a lake. As frightening as it was, scientists say it's not all that rare to have meteors falling out of the sky. What's not common is when they hit largely populated areas. Small bodies like that hit the Earth regularly. Every year there's probably several, mostly over oceans. Dent and Abel is the curator of meteorites at the American Museum of Natural History. His attention had been solely focused on the asteroid passing the Earth and was stunned the meteor and the asteroid both occurred within 24 hours of each other. Are they related in any way? As far as we know, they're not related. Abel says the gap in time between the two events was too wide for them to be related. And then there's a matter of size. The size difference between the, the big one, 45 meters, and this little guy, which is maybe three meters, that air bursted over Russia, is so large that there would have to be more. We don't see that, so, so it is a cosmic coincidence. Unlike the asteroid passing the Earth, he says the meteor that hit Russia was too small to be detected. But the cosmic coincidence has left him a bit unnerved. Yes, we can predict things. We know the laws of gravity. We know the masses of the planets and so forth. We can predict what's going to happen down the road. But the interplay of all these celestial bodies together and the ones we don't know about is such to make it kind of scary in a way. The last time that something of this size occurred that we know about was more than 100 years ago, and it also happened in Russia. Back in 1908, an asteroid exploded over a remote area of Siberia, leveling roughly 80 million trees. And it was spread out over an area roughly two-thirds the size of the state of Rhode Island. Mary Snow, CNN, New York.